Hey guys, what's up? I'm Nigel back again from Andrew Guru. Today I'm going to do a review on one of the phone which I like a lot. It's the Sony Xperia Z2. I have the product with me. Do you want to see it? It's here. This is the phone which has really blown my mind. I mean, Sony has worked their way well with this phone. If you're not going for the Z3, then this is another phone which you would like to go for. Because if you compare this phone with the Z1, it's a bit broader. The display resolution has been tweaked up and it's personally my favorite. For movies, for gaming, for social networking, for typing and all the other needs that a normal Android user would want. I like the 20.7 MP camera behind as well as the waterproof feature of really making these plugs which you could plug in here so that your device stays waterproof. I was using the Sony Xperia M, the Xperia C3 even the Z3 Compact and I did not find this button, the power button, a bit strong. They had weak power buttons. Now they've made it better. They made it smaller. If there's something to speak about it, it would be about the quality of this phone. As I said before, the Z2 is good for gaming because it has better viewing angles and contrast. It's vivid and natural. Sony has managed to get stamina with the bigger battery and the Snapdragon 801 processor. It's fast, smooth and really living up to the expectations of what the hardware configuration is. The Z2 is running Android 4.4.4 KitKat. I've been using this phone for over a week now and I find it totally fantastic because the screen is given a proper blend and it has really curved edges which makes it really nice to hold in the hand for a long time. Okay, I can agree. I mean, compared to the Z1, the Z2 is a little bit bigger but holding it at your ear and speaking is a little bit pathetic but if you're a Sony fan and you want the real quality of a Sony smartphone then the Z2 or the Z3 would be one of the smartphone to go for. Instead of buying the Note 4 which is like 55,000, 45, 50,000 it's better to go for this smartphone because it's going to last. Note 4, Samsung, sorry, I mean I'm personally against their how they design their phones. Tell me one difference between the Samsung Galaxy Core and the S4. It's just this plastic behind. You can't come to know which is the core and which is the S4. Or even the Galaxy Grand for example. If you see these two smartphones, I mean you can tell that this is maybe a Grand Quattro and this is some other smartphone. But they're just plastic. They have these curved edges which I don't like. I mean at the end of the day I don't want myself roaming with a phone that everyone has and it looks same. I'm sure you also don't want the same too. I compared the Sony Xperia C and the Sony Xperia Z2, the Z2 is a little bit longer than the C, but is spanning the same width. So it's a neat phone to buy. If you're a C user, then you could go for this phone when you next want to buy a good Sony smartphone. The waterproofing of this phone is just like any other smartphone, but Sony has worked on it to make it the best. The gaming performance is roughly on par with the other Snapdragon 801 phones I've reviewed. With launch software, there are some tiny frame rate drops in a couple of high-end games like Real Racing 3. But I'm confident that the Z2 can handle anything on the Google Play Store. The phone scores 2715 in the Geekbench 3 benchmark and 18832 in the 3D Mark Unlimited. That's a little lower than its Snapdragon 801 rivals, but with so much recent talk about benchmark rigging, I'm happy to conclude it's really on par with the rest. The Xperia Z2 runs on Android KitKat as I said earlier with a new version of the custom Sony interface used in other Xperia phones. It doesn't feel all that much different to standard Android, as its approach is lighter touch than either HTC Sense or Samsung's TouchWiz interface. It does provide its own look though, and it's all sharp edges and simple lines. Of course, these only show through things like the design of the virtual nav buttons, the included clock widgets, and some of the app icons. The Xperia Z2 does not have a live-in home screen news feed like the Blink feed screen of the One M8 or the M7. There are a bunch of things like Video Unlimited, PlayStation Mobile, Xperia Launch, Track IT and Sony Select. The Z2's interface doesn't give you any way to hide app icons and you can only uninstall a few of the bundled apps. The Sony Xperia Z2 has a 5.2 inch screen. That's a bit bigger than its predecessor. It's an LCD type display but offers a bunch of upgrades over the last year's model. That's the Z1. Both phones are branded with Sony's tri-luminous display badge, something initially used to describe Sony's TVs. 
But this new model also has a live color LED tag. This means that it uses blue backlight LEDs rather than white ones. Unlike normal auto modes, it can use HDR for backlight scenes and the super low light mode when it's needed. The actual camera shooting screen is pretty simple too. The default auto mode is much more controlling than most of phones. It's the manual mode that provides the normal mobile shooting experience. The rest of the camera modes are a little more creative and fun. There's the AR mode seen in the Xperia Z1, which plasters anything from dinosaurs to little gnome fellows on your screen. Kids will love it. What holds the Xperia Z2 back is that its body is laden with seams, flaps, and an obvious dock connector that detract from an otherwise simple style. However, the Sony Xperia Z2 needs most of these interruptions because it's water resistant and sealed up. With no removable back, there is no way obvious for the Z2 to hide things like micro SIM and micro SD card slots. This phone has both and they sit under chunky, pretty obvious plastic flaps on the phone sides. The Z2 also offers the best water resistance of all the new top Android phones. A coated headphone jack and two rubber sealed ports help the phone earn its IP55 and IP58 certification. This means you can submerge the phone in water and it can also take water jets. It does mean you can put the phone under the tap if you've got some chocolate on your phone or any kind of dirt to clean it up. Before I end this review, I'll give the screen 2.5, the battery 3.5, the display just 4. I mean 4 is just going to seal the full deal for you. Speakers 2, waterproof 4.5 because it's one of the best as I said in the review. The other stuff you could give yourself for watching this video and getting some knowledge whether to buy the Z2 or go for another phone. Have a look at the Z2 the last time and head to the nearest store to purchase the phone. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.